Grand Rising, Kings, Queens, Gods, Goddesses, Mota, Exclusive, Dimensional Being Ka, Age of Aquarius Ka, but another exclusive. This is going to be a straightforward in your face video, comment video. It's kind of like one of my favorite spectrums, but this video is going to be about how to make 2020 your greatest motherfucking year, your best fucking year, the most powerful, most manifestational year ever. And we in 2020, it's the third day. So we really about to go to a higher scale with this shit. If you were Aries, if you were Taurus, if you were Gemini, if you were Cancer, if you were Leo, if you were Virgo, if you were Scorpio, if you were Sagittarius, if you were Capricorn, if you were Aquarius like me, if you were Pisces, pay attention because I'm about to really change your life in this fucking video. The power is within y'all already. Now, we're really about to get to the constellations of what you need to do first. First thing first, this body you in is the devil. This physical flesh you in is the devil. This internal shit you in is the overall God. Feel me? And there's not a good, there's not a bad. There's not a bad, it's not a good. It's all about the energy that's in this physical body that you expressing on the physical, on the outside spectrum. And the spirit and the soul is what you vibrating on, is what you create as the light. You're not the light. But yo, let's get into the science. First things first, my Aries, y'all need to get, y'all need to have clairvoyant. Y'all need to bring more aggression, more irony, more manifestations in every way possible. Feel me? You gotta make sure you utilize your imagination. Write that shit down. Put it into existence. And block out all the negativity, people, places, and things that come across you. That put you in circumstances and situations that have pretty much blocked you from your path. You need to be the aggressor. You need to utilize your energies. You need to attack. Anything that's in front of you, you need to be pretty much be on a continuation escalation scale. You need to be going up higher, higher, higher. We don't need to be seeing you go down. You need to keep pushing forward and keep going up there. Keep vibrating high. Keep going with them. Keep utilizing your internal realm to express it on the physical realm. So pretty much this is what you're going to attract. The aggression, the passionate, the dedication. This is... The, all of the energies that we got in old zodiac sign, I'm going to need this shit to pretty much manifest from the 1st to 12th house. Yo, Taurus, we're going to need y'all to really stop getting too physical. We're going to need y'all to start getting more internally, spiritually inclined with yourselves. The physical ain't it. You're going to get lost and washed up under the motherfucking current. You really need to put time and effort into yourself. Stop fucking worrying about other people's places and things and learn how to balance yourself. Feel me? Especially if you're not feeling good about yourself. If you keep eating it like a motherfucking pig, you need to cut that shit out. And you need to test your body. But you need to really start small in order for you to pretty much manifest this shit. And you got to have an imagination and utilize that shit and create. And stop talking about it. Stop talking too much. And learn how to go within. That mercury really begins to y'all. But y'all really need to really think this shit out and think this through. And pretty much manifest everything that you need to utilize on paper. Don't let anything, anything or representation, person, place, or thing to tell you what you need to, or what you not need to do. Gemini's. Yeah, you're talking too much. But we need to see more action. We need to see that shit play out in the physical. Feel me? But listen. Connect with your internal round first. That's more important. Some Gemini's is on path. Some Gemini's ain't. I'm talking about the ones that ain't on path. Get spiritually inclined with yourself. Stop blocking out your manifestations. Feel me? Because you pretty much, y'all got a lot in y'all chart where y'all can really manifest shit. But let's stop talking. Let's really think this shit and add a positive skill as an imagination to create what's in front of us. And not create an illusion to pretty much have us keep talking about it. Then when we get into eons and ages and shit, then you just fig figure it out and just stop, and just stop trying. Really need y'all to really utilize them downloads, talk things into existence on a positive scale. And not get attacked by other spirits. That's pretty much having y'all utilize the skill. We need to really see y'all put the passion in through it. <clears throat> I'll just go for all signs from 1st to 12th house. And we all sharing these energies. So get with it, motherfucker, from head to toe. 
Listen, fourth house, Kansas. We need your emotions to really pretty much be the reason why you're manifesting on a positive scale. Pretty much this is what we all going to be experiencing because we in 2020, 40, fourth house is cancer. So this pretty much is going to pretty much be all the energy that we express, expressing internally and externally. What's being pushed in and what's being pushed out. But we really need y'all to really think positive. Stop letting the emotions get the best of you. Stop getting angry. Utilize your passion, your willpower, and manifest. Put shit and talk shit into existence. Utilize your emotion. Add good feeling with it and good thoughts and progress your shit. Don't get caught up into the circumstance situation of blind, being blocked by other spirits to pretty much throw their emotional baggage and weight on you. Knock that shit off your shoulders and come harder. Fuck what they saying. Let's get stronger, man. For my C's, my cancers. Let's dominate. More domination, man. Also, for my Leos, need y'all to not just express yourself through attentions and shit, but utilize that fire and passionate to really get some magic wands. Utilize your power to all that shit that these people watch you, watching you and seeing what you're doing. You can manifest and become your greatest virgin. Feel me? It's all about how you utilize your energy and your passion with shit. Feel me? Y'all the Leos. Y'all got to get on y'all shit. Ha! Ah, bring that fire. Feel me? Bring that intense. Bring the three. The, the spirit, the soul, and the human vessel. Bring that three through the intentions. Put that out. Push that out. Have imagination. Don't get caught. Wash up under the currents. Don't get caught up in the web, the matrix web. Get out there. Express yourself. Express your feelings and emotions and thoughts and ideas. And manifest with that shit. And you will see the positive scale of you manifesting. And that's real shit for my Virgos. Yo, y'all earth signs. Stop fucking with the earth like that, okay? The earth is always going to be here. What we need y'all to do is stop being nervous. Stop having that guilt feeling. Stop thinking negative. Start, start putting your shit into motion. Stop procrastinating. Stop holding back. Stop getting washed up under the covering. Fuck all that 9 to 5 shit. We really need you to express your feelings, emotions, thoughts, ideas, creativity. Get on your spiritual shit. This way you'll be destined to receive the positive, pro appropriate spiritual knowledge that you need to pretty much take off on your spaceship. You are the spaceship. You're, you're pretty much all these things. Now you really got to get on board and get with the right charts and utilize this shit. This way you'll be able to take off with this shit. This way you'll be able to express shit. This way you'll be able to pro stop procrastinating and stop being... Get washed up under the cover and let people, places, and things attack you. Attack your feelings and emotions. Feel me? Get up out of that demonic shit. We don't need that shit. We need y'all to be strong. We need y'all to utilize y'all shit. For real. You Libras, we need y'all to stop being too open. Feel me? We need y'all to really continue to keep pushing and driving and getting in that mirror and knowing that you're the only person you're relating to in a relationship. Forget all that other shit. Feel me? Forget all the other people, places, and things. You are who you are. You are your creation, feel me? You are the one that's pretty much utilizing that vessel, utilizing that energy, feel me? Don't get attacked by no other spirits that's in Dalmatian, feel me? You are the person that what we need y'all to really pretty much do is express yourself, express your feelings, emotions, thoughts, and ideas in that mirror, internally and externally, and pretty much write down shit. This way you can take information, feel me? Don't get too close to being attacked by other beings and shit. This way they'll hold you back and put you in circumstances and situations and shit. Be more open, feel me? But don't get too open. Because you'll find yourself expressing yourself too much. And you may not have that person's... That person may not be vulnerable to you. So you might just get disappointed about that circumstance situation. For my Scorpios, listen, pay attention, yo. We don't need y'all to be pretty much holding in on shit, because that's Pluto. Shit can transform you if you're expressing it or pretty much setting a prime example. Stop holding in. Stop being attacked by other spirits or dark energies. And really need y'all to <sighs> meditate. Go then. Feel me? Feel good about yourself. Feel me? Have imagination. Think positive. Stop letting them dark energies or them dark ancestors, ancestors as was previous walking this earth to pretty much try to hack y'all back. No, y'all really need to break out of that dark energy, feel me? Get out of that dark web, feel me? We here, feel me? Love is here. Care is here, feel me? Express yourself so we know how you feeling, feel me? Get those spirits and those procrastinations out of y'all. Y'all pretty much 
y'all advanced spirits, y'all the water spirits. So y'all came out the ocean. Y'all went in the ocean knowing how to swim and y'all pretty much can drown in the ocean and know how to prick yourself back up out of them circumstances and situations. So we really need y'all to be more open, find more care and passionate with yourself. Spend more time with yourself and alone from other people, places, and things and other beings. This way you have more time to utilize what you really need to work on. But be more open, though. Need y'all Scorpios to start, step it up, man. We need that Pluto. We need that Pluto transformation with positivity, not no negativity behind that shit. <clears throat> For you Capricorns, the sun is in y'all motherfucking house. The sun is in y'all playground. So pretty much utilize your passion. Be bossy all you want. But make sure you being bossy on the balance scale. Feel me? But don't let nobody boss you around neither. But feel me, y'all really need to put y'all bossiness into y'all imagination, y'all creativity, y'all instability. Feel me? Y'all need to govern yourself and not be governed or washed up under the current. Really need y'all to really pretty much take over. Get on y'all goat shit. Be the goat. Be the be the big goat out there. Feel me? And put shit in. Put that work in. Continue to make sure you making sure you're taking care of yourself financially in every way, every way possible. For my Aquarius, this is age of Aquarius, so we need all y'all motherfucking aliens to be awoke about this at this time. Y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about, so I really don't really have to express this shit. Y'all know what y'all gotta do. Be consistent. Stop procrastinating. Stop being too laid back, feel me? Utilize your imagination. Put that shit into action. Be successful with it. Continue the process, and everything will go in your favor. Stop putting yourself in circumstances and situations of... Being attacked because pretty much we attack we we don't even begin attacked by motherfuckers on this planet we get attacked by other spirits by other beings from other planets and shit and these are planets that we need all need to come through as a whole to travel and know ourselves and get information and follow the star and not follow the motherfucking matrix time fuck the time feel me need y'all to also do y'all three sixties y'all wake up turn left turn right. Go with them, meditate, clear y'all for clairvoyance, feel me? We need this shit to happen for y'all every fucking day. I'm talking about all zodiac signs. In order for you to manifest, this shit gotta happen every day. No days off on this motherfucker. And also, of course, my Pisces. We, we, we need Pisces to utilize the right brain, not get too logical. Express your feelings and emotions, your thoughts, ideas, your creativity, your dream state, your illusions to pretty much manifest in the physical and not get caught up in... To, other circumstances and situations that are going to pretty much block you. Feel me? Utilize your power. You are the dream signs. You are the water signs. Pretty much the thought is the dream. The water is the, f is the emotions. Now express that with good feelings. And I guarantee you we're going to be swimming like motherfucking beans. And we're going to keep going high ass 12. So y'all get it. Get out of the matrix. Be strong, be powerful, watch what you eat, eat healthy, take care of yourself, know thyself, heal yourself. And we're going to be riding this motherfucking wave of ascending on 2020. That goes for every sign. Utilize this shit, find your weaknesses, write it down, let's take care of that shit. And we're going to manifest. And that's real shit.